day. It's a big one this morning. NASA is scheduled to launch the Artemis one rocket, but a fuel leak happening right now might delay things a bit. It's a long awaited flight and it's expected to take off from Kennedy Space Center this morning. Fernando Garcia Francisini is in the studio to talk about the launch. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. The Artemis one launch is a six week flight around the moon and back to Earth. The spacecraft is completely uncrewed and NASA hopes the tests they conduct on this flight will pave the way for the first crewed SLS Orion mission. Launch teams say we might see some rain, but for now it's not expected to impact the tanking. But if it is raining and more importantly, lightning, the launch could be delayed. We did have some uh, strikes that we recorded um, on our tower, uh, lightning tower to pad working as it nominally should, um, and we did uh, have those. We've been evaluating those through yesterday and, uh, and through last night, um, and everything to date it looks very good from a vehicle perspective. This morning, there is an 80% chance of rain at the top of the launch window, but it does go down from there. NASA expects 250,000 people to be in Florida to watch Artemis, La Artemis 1 launch. One group of veterans can't wait to watch the launch from the Kennedy Space Center. They say it's not about what they see, but what they hear. I'm excited. I can't wait to hear, see, and feel what's going to happen. These veterans are visually impaired and are so excited for this experience. Bumples on top of goose bumples and no, I I'm looking for it. I'm so careful so I don't fall or anything to you know, so mess up my plans. The group called Wisdom for Blinded Veterans is bringing a handful of vets to the launch. For NASA, putting it as putting astronauts back on the moon surface is goal number one. And if successful, humans could be on a lunar orbit flight within two years. Then a moon landing in 2025 or 26. Ladies. Wow, that's, that's really a, cool. Yeah, really incredible. All right, thank you, Fernando. We're gonna